Well, Glenn Greenwald, who is the famous journalist who exposed electronic surveillance in the United States using the documents of Edward Snowden, uh, revealed by Edward Snowden, the whistleblower, uh, he's getting a, a lot of criticism at this point. Now, he went to Russia. He attended a conference on cybersecurity. At that conference, he spoke on a panel related to the issue of fake news. And then from there, he went and did a TV interview with this network. There's an obsession in the United States with viewing Russia not just as an adversary, but as an actual enemy. It's permeated both political parties. There's actually talk a lot now about how what they regard as the interference in the 2016 election is similar to Pearl Harbor. From there, we saw a whole lot of media voices in the USA jump on Glenn Greenwald simply for the fact that he gave this interview. Uh, one commentator from MSNBC responded this way. Glenn Greenwald shows his true colors as an agent of Trump and Moscow. Now we know why he helped Snowden defect, covers for WikiLeaks attack on democracy and chills for Fox News. He's deep in the Kremlin pocket. Now a tweet from a media outlet associated with Voice of America accused Glenn Greenwald of quote, voicing support for the government of Russia in his interview. Now, WikiLeaks responded, pointing out that at no point did Mr. Greenwald voice support for the Russian government. That was not anything he said in his interview. At no point in the interview did he make statements supporting the Russian government. So this tweet from a U.S. government media outlet, Voice of America, was simply not correct. Now, Glenn Greenwald is not the first individual to have been targeted this way and, and basically accused uh, of all kinds of things simply for appearing on this network. We saw that Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein faced similar allegations simply because she did interviews on RT and that she went to Russia and met Vladimir Putin. Um, and uh, we've also seen uh, in the recent, in the aftermath of the passing away of Ed Schultz, uh, we've seen similar statements and, and strange things made in allegations uh, and made in the obituaries and the reporting around his death. Um, so Glenn Greenwald has responded to those jumping on him for doing the interview, saying that this is simply McCarthyism. And uh, it reminds people of, of a period in the United States in which guilt by association was very common and people were being accused of being disloyal and treated simply for meeting with somebody or giving an interview or shaking hands with someone. Um, Glenn Greenwald is quick to, to jump on this as an example of kind of the hysterical atmosphere created around Russia in the United States, the subject of the interview he gave to RT. So there's this sense that Russia is now an enemy on par with Al-Qaeda or the Japanese during World War II. Russia is often talked about this way in the sense that any kind of connection with or interaction with Russia is viewed as inherently suspicious or even worse. And it's extremely dangerous and extremely toxic. Investigative journalist Max Blumenthal told us the whole case is based on the U.S. perception of Russia as an enemy. This is outright slander uh, that is being committed by an employee of MSNBC, which has pushed this frame of anything connected to Russia being a form of treason. If you look at Malcolm Nance's own record of wild statements, including that the United States as a constitutional republic is about to be destroyed by Vladimir Putin, it's pretty clear that he's to intelligence what Harvey Weinstein is to feminism. This is all about geopolitics, and people like Glenn Greenwald uh, have, been, have become collateral damage in the revival of McCarthyism.